New York elected one of the most controversial members of Congress in 2022 as George Santos was picked to serve the 3rd District of New York. But a new Republican challenger is throwing his hat into the ring to challenge Santos, saying, quote, I'm running for Congress to return integrity and a respected voice back to that office. And joining us now, that challenger himself, retired NYPD detective and founder of Squad Security, Mark Sapricone, uh, or Sapricone. Mike Sapricone. Darn it, you told me that. You did good. All right, uh, all right. Also, former New York Congressman Peter King joins us. All right, uh, gentlemen, great to have you with us. All right, Mark, tell us specifically why you decided to switch from uh, NYPD to business now to politics and challenge George Santos. Well, Katrina, I think uh, I have some experience spending 20 years with the NYPD and then spending over 30 years in private sector running a company of over 800 employees, which were retired at active police offices. I think it's about time we start looking at things in a, in a common sense way and we start listening to what our constituents are saying. Peter King, I want to bring you into the discussion here. What's it take? You have been a congressman in New York. What does it take to win? For Mike to win, he has to be himself. Uh, Mike, Mike Sapricone is a, uh, is a great record as a uh, police officer, as detective in the finest police department in the world. He's a very successful businessman. He's active in the community. He was president of the school board at one time. So, no, he can go right right to the ground, right there at grassroots, and you know, make his appeal. And uh, I'm, I'm very confident that if Mike does get the nomination, that he will be an excellent candidate. And you know, first of all, the sooner we get rid of Santos, the better. But uh, no matter who the Democrat is, I, I think Mike Sapricone has a great chance of winning this seat. All right. Um, I want to be, of course, completely transparent. I know you gentlemen are friends, of course, and that's yeah. why we have have these uh, men on together. Mike, you know, with such a great uh, friend uh, and advocate as former Congressman Peter King, have you are you going to him for advice? How how are you working with your friend to move forward and, and try to win this campaign? Well, Peter and I speak often, and Peter was my congressman when I lived in Seaford for over 20 years. Uh, Peter's a great friend. He's been so supportive of me. And, and as Peter said, when I do get the nomination, if that happens, I will certainly be turning to Peter for advice and, and just discussions on how to prepare myself for going to the Hill. Mike, uh, now your, your chance here. We're on TV. You get to speak to the voters here. The big topics you, I know you've talked about before, public safety, border security, fiscal responsibility. That's a huge talking point right now on Capitol Hill. You want to expand on what you think you can do? Well, I think just talking about crime, it's, it's a shame, Bob. Wherever we go, we get on a subway, we get on a Long Island Railroad, we walk down the block. It reminds me of back in the 90s when I was part of the Giuliani and Braddon team that kind of changed uh, the way the streets were, were taken back. Mm -hmm. We took them back. We did a good job. Uh, we looked, talked about broken windows, and we made things better. It's about time we start looking at crime. It's not quite as bad as it was in the 90s, but we need to look at it and make sure we're doing something to change it. You know, we're all immigrants at some point, so we all deserve a chance to be here in this country and do the best we can. But migration is a different thing. What about the people who have worked hard to get here and have come here legally, and now they're looking at situations where we're just letting the borders flow open and anybody can come in here and we're spending our money, our taxpayers' money to take care of them, where we're not even taking care of our own homeless people or our mm. people who don't have work here. So that's really important. And I go into my local store in, in, in New York District 3, and I watch people look at the price of eggs mm. and price of milk and say, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. Where the Biden administration is saying that, you know, inflation is down, job, jobs are up. It's not. And I think AOC today just came out with something where she's looking to increase the tax to 5% on anybody wow. in the suburbs who makes, as a combined family, $250,000. That's a cop and a nurse or a cop and a school teacher. Right. When I was a cop, I worked three jobs to take care of my kids and make things, make things work better for me so my kids could get a better education. Hmm. But if you start taxing us more, how much harder are the people going to work just to pay what they make just to pay back mm -hmm. the taxes. That's why people are fleeing New York, and we need to change that. We need to make sure people stay here. Mm, yeah, great point. Uh, almost out of time, but Peter, uh, while we do have you uh, as a former congressman, I do want to get your thoughts on the historic ousting of a House Speaker yesterday, of course, Kevin McCarthy. I thought it was terrible. It was such a terrible president. The fact is, uh, in the history of the, uh, the House, no, one, no speaker's ever been uh, removed uh, on a motion to vacate. This was an abuse of power by Matt Gates, when you have 96% of Republicans supporting uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy, 
to have eight Republicans side with the liberal uh, progressive Democrats to bring down a conservative Republican speaker, to me that's indefensible, and it sets a very bad precedent. Whoever the next speaker is, he or she, is going to have the sword of Damocles hanging over the head the whole time. It's a terrible precedent, never done before. I hope it's never going to be done again. But now that it has been done once, it could well be done again. That could be disastrous. Very well said. Certainly could be done again now that we have seen it one time. Detective Mike Sapriconi, sir, best of luck. And Peter King, as always, thank you for coming on American Agenda. You're welcome. Thanks, Bob. Okay.